Okay, so first up on the list is Jake Sanderson, 20-year-old rookie from the Ottawa Senators. He was the fifth overall pick in 2020, and he has 11 assists and 12 points in 28 games this season, including six points on the power play. He's playing on the top four and second power play unit, logging an impressive 21 minutes of ice time a game. He also has 53 shots on goal, 43 blocks, and 23 hits so far this year. And he's available in 87% of ESPN leagues. So next up on the list, Vancouver defenseman Luke Shen, who is especially valuable in banger leagues. That he's second in the NHL and hits with 119 this season. He also has 48 blocks and 44 penalty minutes. He has eight points in 28 games this season, and his career high is 22 twice about a decade ago, so don't expect much offense from him. Um, but again, in banger leagues, he more than makes up for that lack of scoring with his physical play, as he's had eight seasons in which he's had over 200 hits, including 273 last season, and he had 96 blocks as well in just 66 games, and he's available in 86% of ESPN leagues. Next up is 28-year-old Matt Benning, who has 12 assists and 13 points this season in 30 games in his first year with the San Jose Sharks. He also has 43 hits and 47 blocks, again, making him a nice addition in banger leagues as well. Uh, Point-wise, he's on pace for a career year, so he is more of a physical pre uh, presence again. He led all Sharks in ice time last night with over 24 minutes, and he's averaging over 21 minutes of ice time has six assists in seven games since the injury to Mario Ferraro, so he is taking full advantage of the opportunity he's been given. Another point worth mentioning is he is on the second power play unit, so he might be able to sneak in a few points there as well as if he can stay there. Um, and he is available in 95% of ESPN leagues. And last but not least is Marcus Peterson, who's averaging over 20 minutes of ice time a game for the Penguins, which is a career high. Uh, he has 10 assists on the season to go along with 59 blocks, 68 hits, and 17 penalty minutes. He had 122 hits and 74 blocks last season and 19 points in 72 games last season, so he is on pace to surpass all those numbers. Uh, playing alongside Chris Letang certainly helps out a lot, and how cool is it to see Letang playing again? I mean, there is no such thing as a minor stroke, right? There's no such thing as a minor stroke. Uh, I'm so glad to see he's doing okay. Uh, Peterson is available in 91% of ESPN leagues. So that wraps it up for me. Thanks as always for watching, and we'll see you again next time.